Happy Friday Floss Tube. Hello crafty friends. My name is Caroline. Welcome back to a very quick little Flossmas Day 4 video for today. Um, I will have popped in my little Christmas tree video at the beginning here. I'm so glad some of you enjoyed the story yesterday because yes, as you can, I'm not sure you can really see the scope of this tree in the video because it is, it is massive. It's massive. Um, that video I actually took a couple of days ago when we had first put it into place and last night when I came downstairs John had surprised me he'd stopped at Canadian Tire on his way home from work picked up lights and I think he picked up five new boxes of lights and uh, with his dad's help last night they put the lights on the tree so in a couple of days um, at nighttime I'll take a video of the tree and I'll show you the kids are gonna decorate it this weekend so I'll show you the tree in all of its fully dressed glory in a few days so I'm just quickly here today to pop in um, a video for the Timber Yarns sock set that I am giving away that was very generously donated by Heather at Timber Yarns for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I do have something cross stitch related that I would like to give away as well, but I'm going to save that for next week in its own separate little entry video because this is a YouTube giveaway. You will enter this giveaway for the sock set here on YouTube. I'll talk more about that in just a moment because I, I have to tell you this other story because it just happened and I'm still literally <laughs> grinning from ear to ear because it was quite funny. So um, you know by now that I have a um, bi business, project bag business, and so I was sending out a package to uh, Deanna darling whimsy and designs out in Newfoundland and um, sometimes within Canada if I'm sending something that is uh, letter size so not a package size but it's letter size and it's, it's it you, you have to go by weight and dimension and so on and so forth but sometimes it's a lot less expensive for me to send it one way versus another I'd have to get into how I ship things because most of the time I use a third party shipper, which does put things into Canada post at a better rate most of the time, but shipping in Canada is very expensive. And so this was something that I was sending that I just handwritten, you know, the details on, which turns out that it was a very good thing that my personal details were written on this envelope because um, when they don't go to the third party carrier, when I FedEx the box, um, either I or my husband or Sarah, who is ever, whoever is going out, takes the, the lot of stuff to the post office and, you know, does me a favor. So I got an email about an hour ago, not even half an hour ago from a man who works at John's store and the email was forwarded to me and the subject line was trying to locate Caroline so-and-so, my last name. And then there was this email that it was from the campus police <laughs> services at Western University and they were trying to locate me because I may have lost some property um, on the campus and they were trying to find me, trying to track me down. <laughs> you can see where I'm going with this. And so at that point, I didn't know what it was. So I'm thinking, what, what the heck? I haven't been on campus in, well, longer than I care to admit because I went to, my, both my husband and I went to Western University and one of my family members who, it wasn't me, who was taking the mail for me that day happened to drop Deanna's package. Um, and the campus police picked it up and tracked me down. <laughs> And then the sergeant who who was calling contacting me he said you know I was just gonna stick a stamp on it and send it for you but I, I didn't know whether maybe it had been dropped on purpose that you didn't want to send it anymore and I thought maybe that would be a bit rude of me just to go ahead and send it so I decided that I should probably try to find you and see if you wanted it back and I just I I couldn't I couldn't quite believe it that the amount of effort that he had gone to to track me down because it had gone through several 
different channels before getting to me. However, Deanna, if you're watching this, all is well. Sarah has headed down there to pick it up today from police services. <laughs> They've taken it out of property. <laughs> And it will be shortly making its way to you. So I hope that you enjoy knowing the story behind the little something something that is headed your way. I thought that was quite funny. Oh, it's, it's, it's things like that that happen on a daily basis that just make you smile and, and you think, you know, life, life is just, uh, keeps you on your toes. Okay, subscriber giveaway. I have this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, fully sealed, brand new in the packaging, Timber Yarns sock set. This is the O Canada colorway. And today's the day. Today's the day. This is the video. So if you would like a chance to win this beautiful set of sock yarn, you don't have to knit socks. You can knit whatever you want with it. You're going to leave me a comment on this video right here, this video. And I'm just going to be looking for the word yarn. Y-A-R-N. That's it. If you'd like to be entered in the draw for this giveaway, I will be mailing it um, to the winner. I will mail it anywhere in the world. I live in Canada. If you live in, you name it, I will mail it to you. And, uh, it will be my pleasure. And once again, a huge thank you to Heather at Timber Yarns for donating this absolutely beautiful prize. I'm, I'm just, I'm thrilled to give it away. So, um, leave me a comment, has to have yarn in it. And I would ask also please that you are a subscriber to the channel because it is a subscriber giveaway. Um, all, what are the other things that I have to remember to say? Please be 18. Don't use the word giveaway in your comment. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay, so uh, this is going to be the screen capture so that y those of you who have been waiting for this to come up as the giveaway, then hopefully you'll you'll see this and you'll know that this is the video that you're going to want to leave your comment on. And that's it. Okay, so I um, I just I recorded a Fiber Friends uh, podcast with my friends Louise and Cheryl this morning, and I managed to figure out Zoom. It worked. I did it. I did it. I was pretty pleased with myself. Now I didn't have to do any of the inviting or anything. Louise took care of all of that. Um, and she is going to be editing the video. It should appear, um, at some point this weekend on YouTube. So that is the fiber friends podcast and it is fiber spelled the Canadian way, which is F I B R E the fiber friends. And, uh, we are now a new trio of, um, we have a new member, a new third member, Louise Patterson, myself, Caroline, and our new fiber friend, Cheryl, who is also the bag maker, My Needle Crafts. And you can check out her, her shop at myneedlecrafts.com. She makes beautiful, beautiful bags. And, um, I did choose which bag that I wanted. And, um, I have let appropriate family members know. So my fingers are crossed that that is going to uh, to happen so um I don't think I'm forgetting anything else I think that's it okay short and sweet today I did not have any time for personal crafting last night so I think I've knit I knit two rounds on my sock this morning while we were chatting other than that I have done nothing this weekend is the big stitch along start for Ann Morrison, the hands across the sea, traditional stitches, 20th anniversary extravaganza. There is a Facebook group that you can join that is being led by the wonderful Rose Hack. And Rose is, I believe she has the chart divided up into 12 sections that she's hoping to, you know, encourage us to, to, um, stitch together and stitch along. There are, uh, there are a lot of members in the Facebook group. Um, Rose, uh, if you see this video, would you mind just leaving the, the name of the Facebook group down below in the comments? And I'll try to pin your comment to the top because at the moment, um, I, 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 it's not off the top of my head. And I, as soon as I hit the stop button on here and get it up, get this video up, I am out the door and running a, a bunch of errands and all kinds of other good, good things to do today. 
So that is starting tomorrow, the 5th, December 5th. Also, uh, Sylvia had left me a comment yesterday on Patty's Flossmas chart saying that there are no color symbols for the back stitching. I hadn't noticed that yet, so I will, Sylvia, I will try my best this weekend to get in touch with Patty and see if there's a small update. I know that she was really um, in the middle of a bunch of stuff all at the same time as the chart came out um, and that's why it's still in digital form. She actually hadn't had time to complete the copy of the actual stitching for the chart so she's probably going to be noticing those things at the same time. So any update information on the holiday 2020 Flossmas chart which again the information is already going to be in my drop down box below. This is the charity pattern. 50% of proceeds are being directly donated to Muscular Dystrophy Canada. And um, so again, I, I still, I haven't put a single stitch in mine. Um, I, I have, again, I said yesterday, I have my fabric chosen, but I need to choose my floss. I still have to get to that. This is very typical December, isn't it? It doesn't matter what's going on you know, pandemic wise, it's still a regular, it feels like it's a normal December where everything is just go, 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 go. It's, it's, it's kind of fun, isn't it? December has that spe very special feel to it. Anyways. Okay. Enough. I better go. I may or may not see you tomorrow, even though it's Saturday. So we shall see. I hope if I don't see you tomorrow, I hope that you have a great weekend and that you are safe and well and you have some time tonight to craft and stitch and knit and make all the things and, uh, and I hope you're well. So I'll see you soon. Take care. Happy stitching. Don't forget yarn if you, if you want the sock set. Bye guys. Take care.